Hello, welcome to the first episode of PH Cheese. Today we're going to be talking about how to correctly cut cheese. Have you ever been to a party where you brought a delicious array of cheeses only to have them mishandled and frankly butchered? I'm going to show you something sad. No wheel of camembert should be cut like that. Why not, you might ask? So now I'm going to show you how to cut five different types of cheeses with five different forms. The two essential points to remember are that you should have an equal proportion of rind and cheese, or the, the paste below the rind. And you also should always try to cut from the center whenever possible, as if you're cutting from the center of a, of a pizza pie. Of course, the form is not always the same. So I'm going to start with Haystack, a goat's milk cheese with a bloomy rind. Bloomy rind, it's, it's, I'm referring to this white rind on the outside that you also see on this one. This is a bloomy rind. And also on cheeses like Camembert and Brie. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to first cut it in half, because that will help. Give us an idea. And then, because the form of this cheese is particular, it points up like this, I'm actually going to cut the top off first. And then, I'm going to start cutting it from the center. So I'm going to cut the first piece here. If I wanted to cut smaller pieces, I can just cut this one in half. And then I would just keep cutting like this, moving in this direction. The next cheese over here, it's another goat's milk cheese. This one's from Colorado. This one is from France. It's from the Loire Valley and it's called saint maur And so you might be asking yourself, here it was obvious the center is obviously the center of the pyramid shape. Here, where is the center? The center is actually running down the center of this log, like this, if I were having it up like that. So the best way to get an equal proportion of rind and cheese, or paste, is you could I often would just cut this in half like that, and then I'll cut a piece, I'll cut pieces off like that. And actually, it's better to use when it's really creamy like this, you want to use a really thin knife, and that helps you get an, a better slice. And you would just go down the log like that. Then we have Letivas, which is from Switzerland, from the Jura. It's a mountain range between France and Switzerland. And it's a cow's milk cheese, so we're moving from goat to cow's milk. And for this one, actually, I would cut it from here first. This cheese, you're not, these two cheeses, I didn't cut the cut the rind off. The rind is a part of the, you're going to eat the, you should eat the rind with, when you're eating the cheese. This one, you're not going to eat the rind for a couple of reasons. You can actually eat the rind of this if you want, but it doesn't really add a lot of flavor to the cheese. And in this case, you have paper on the rind, so you're definitely not going to eat that. And then I would cut this in half. And then you could cut this in half and make sort of cubes like this. And you're going to keep going like this, going down, and then you'll notice if you keep doing that, you get a lot of rind and not enough cheese. Because someone's going to end up with a piece like that, and you don't want that. So when you get down to here, something that I would do is then cut it this way. Cut it through the center there. And then cut a piece here, maybe cut a piece like that. But basically, you don't want to end up with a piece that's just like this. Or even a piece like this, because you're, mo you're mostly rind. And then we have Stilton. So with Stilton, I definitely want a really thin knife. First, I'm going to cut the Stilton. This is a big piece here. So if I, when I'm entertaining, I would... When I'm entertaining for a lot of people, what I would first do is cut a piece like this. 
Okay, I know that we're definitely going to get through, I, I know we're definitely get through this much. And then I'm going to use this as my center and I'm going to cut pieces like this. And it's okay for crumbles, sort of the nature of this, of this cheese. And I would also maybe just put a knife in there because at this point, it's really creamy. So the longer it sits out, this is a good thing. It'll have a lot more flavor than if you just took it right out of the fridge. But at this point, you could probably even just put a knife in there and just spread it onto the, onto the bread. What you want to avoid doing is cutting the cheese this way. That's what I would call butchering the cheese. Then we have a very different cheese right here. Why is it different? Because look how I'm going, going to be cutting it. First of all, it's covered in spruce bark. This is called Harbison. It's from Jasper Hill Farm in Vermont. And it's modeled after a cheese um, called Vachemondor, which, which is also from the Jura. Um, and it's made in Switzerland and it's made in France, the uh, Vachemondor, which is the cheese this is modeled after. And that cheese is so creamy, and you usually eat it in the winter time. Basically, you would just use the rind as the uh, lid. You would treat the rind as the lid for the cheese, and you would just dip bread in there, or you would probably put a knife in there, rather, and just spread it onto the, the bread. And then you, if when you're done with that, uh, taste or that cheese tasting, you would just put it back on here and then put the cheese back in the fridge. Um, so this has its, has its own set of rules because in this case tradition trumps uh, tradition trumps the uh, everything that I just mentioned about uh, rind and cheese proportion and cutting from the center. And now he's asking how do you eat the cheese? Mmm, just like that.